Hello and welcome to FCHS Family Foodie. My name is Angela Alexander de Ramos and I am an educator at FCHS Rutgers Cooperative Extension. Hola y bienvenidos a FCHS Family Foodie. Soy una educadora de nutrición de FCHS Rutgers Cooperative Extension. Today I'm sharing a simple and healthy recipe for vegetarian enchiladas. Before we begin, remember to wash your hands and set your oven for 375. Vamos a hacer una enchilada vegetariana bien sencilla hoy. Antes de empezar, vamos a lavarse las manos y ponerse el horno a los 375. If you're looking for a meatless meal, this is the perfect one. It has high fiber from the whole wheat tortillas, the beans, the corn, and the other vegetables we're using. Did you know that diets high in fiber can reduce your risks of certain health conditions? Hoy vamos a preparar una sencilla comida bien deliciosa, lleno de fibra. Usted sabe que la fibra puede bajar sus riesgos de ciertos tipos de enfermedades. Esta contiene mucha fibra debido a sus tortillas hecho con granos integrales, los frijoles y otras verduras. The ingredients we're using today is spinach, um, frozen or fresh. Tenemos espinaca, fresco o congelado. We have shredded cheese, mozzarella, um, low fat. Tenemos queso rallado de 2%. We have um, a can of corn, 15 ounces. Una lata de elote de 15 onzas. También puedes usar fresco. You can also use fresh corn. And we have a can of black beans, uh, 15 ounce. Uh, una lata de frijoles negros de 15 onzas. We have our cebollines, scallions, cilantro, cilantro, lime, limón verde, avocado, aguacate, salsa de enchilada, Enchilada sauce, vegetable spray, spray de aceite. And then finally we have some whole grain, whole wheat tortillas, about eight inches. Tenemos también unas tortillas de uh, granos integrales de ocho pulgadas. If you're using frozen spinach, here's a little tip to get out all of the water. Get a clean dish cloth. Um, si estamos usando espinaca congelada, es un truco para remover todo el agua. Okay. Vamos a poner todo aquí. Put all the spinach here. And then we are going to give it a squeeze. Vamos a exprimir todo el agua. Así. We want it to be nice and dry for the recipe. Porque no queremos que todo el agua sea en la receta. That's it. Easy. Fácil. Now we are going to chop the spinach. Vamos a cortar la espinaca. And now we're going to cut the scallions. These are really big, and so we probably only need two of them. Vamos a cortar las cebollines. Estas son bien grandes, entonces solo vamos a necesitar dos. Right. Now let's combine all of our ingredients. Ahora vamos a combinar todos los ingredientes. We have our scallions, las cebollines, espinaca, spinach. We're going to put a cup and a half of the cheese and save the other half cup to put on top. Vamos a poner me una taza y media de queso y guardar el resto para poner encima elote, put the corn, the beans, los frijoles, and now we'll mix it all together. Vamos a mezclar todo bien. Mmm, really delicioso. This smells great. Now we are going to cut some cilantro and put that in there, but if um, someone doesn't like it, you could omit it. Ahora vamos a poner cilantro, pero si alguien no le gusta, puedes dejarlo. 
Um, the cilantro stems and leaves are both really tasty, so you can use all of it. Puede usar todo el cilantro, no solo las hojas, porque todo sabe bien. Now let's put all of this in there. Let's put the cilantro in. Vamos a poner todo aquí. Huele delicioso. Smells wonderful. Now we are going to spray the pan with a little bit of vegetable spray. Ahora tenemos que poner un poco de aceite en spray para que no se pegue. You don't want it to stick. Now we're going to put just a little bit of the enchilada sauce. Uh, vamos a poner solo un poco de la salsa de enchilada. Para cubrir todo el fondo, we want to make sure the whole bottom of this is covered. Now we're going to roll our enchiladas. Vamos a hacer las enchiladas. Now we're going to put the filling, the spinach filling, into the tortilla. Vamos a rellenar la tortilla con esto. Así. Not too much. Now we're going to roll it and don't worry about the ends. Vamos a enrollar esto, pero no se preocupe acerca de las puntas. Now we're going to put it in the dish. I like this recipe because it's so versatile. Me gusta esta receta porque es muy versátil. You can use any type of vegetables you have on hand. Puedes usar cualquier tipo de verduras que tienes a mano. I like to put zucchini in here. Me gusta poner calabaza. You could also use uh, mushrooms. Puedes usar champiñones. Whatever you have available, you can use, and it doesn't have to be fresh. It could be canned as well, or frozen. Um, no tiene que ser fresca. Puedes usar verduras enlatadas o también congeladas. There we go. Now that we have all of the enchiladas rolled, ahora que tenemos todas las enchiladas listas, we're going to put um, a, about, we have a, about two and a half cups of enchilada sauce left over. Tenemos unos dos tazas y media de salsa de enchilada. Let's cover everything. Vamos a cubrir todo. If we miss something, it's going to get really crunchy. Um, Quieres cubrir todo para que no se ponga muy crujiente. Cover. All right. And then we're going to top it with the rest of the cheese. Ahora vamos a usar el resto del queso para poner encima. We have four enchiladas because the tortillas were uh, very large. These are, I think, 10 inch. Um, hoy as, hicimos cuatro enchiladas porque las tortillas son bien grandes, 10 pulgadas. But if you have a seven or eight inch tortilla, then you'll probably get about eight enchiladas. Si estás usando unas tortillas de siete o ocho pulgadas, va a tener unos ocho enchiladas. Now we're ready to put this in the oven. Ahora vamos a hornear. We're, we are going to cook for about 20 minutes on 375. Vamos a hornear por unos 20 minutos en 375 or until everything is very um, hot and cooked throughout and the cheese is melted. Vamos a cocinar hasta que está bien cocido por adentro y el queso está derretida. Get out of the oven. Vamos a removerla. What I love about this is it's very easy to serve. Lo que me gusta acerca de estas enchiladas que son muy fácil de servir because everyone is separate. Porque cada una es separada. Now we're going to add a little bit of cilantro and avocado. Vamos a poner un poco de cilantro encima poco de aguacate and a little bit of lime. Un poco de limón verde también. Alright. 
So here you have the vegetarian enchiladas. Aquí tiene las enchiladas vegetarianas con frijoles y elote. It has beans and corn. And if you want to freeze this, you can, but I recommend that you do it before you cook it. Si quiere congelar, recomiendo que las congelas antes de hornear. I hope you like the recipe. My name is Angela Alexander de Ramos, an educator at FCHS, Rutgers Cooperative Extension. Check out our Family Foodie YouTube channel. Gracias por ver. Y mi nombre es Angela Alexander de Ramos. Echa un vistazo en nuestro canal de YouTube, Family Foodie FCHS. Gracias.